Distributor fuel pump is used to provide fuel in diesel engines at a high pressure that is required for injection in all the cylinders of the engine using only one plunger. The plunger only takes a rotating motion, but it converts this motion into also a reciprocating motion by using a cam plate. This cam plate has a number of loops. By maintaining the contact of the plunger and the cam, the rotating motion can be transformed into a rotating and reciprocating motion. Fuel is provided inside of the pumping chamber using an inlet passage. In order to provide fuel during one complete revolution of the plunger, a number of times equal to the number of the cylinders inside the engine, a number of grooves is made in the plunger to provide fuel at needed times. When these grooves is not aligned with the inlet port, fuel will not be provided during this time and the plunger is now able to pressurize the fuel. One outlet passage inside of the plunger is provided to deliver the fuel. When this outlet passage is aligned with an outlet bore, it will provide the fuel to this bore which is connected to a delivery valve that is set to open at a specific pressure by means of springs. The number of outlet bores and delivery valves are equal to the number of cylinders and also the number of loops are equal to the number of cylinders. In order to control the amount of fuel being delivered, a cutoff bore is introduced with a control spool. When the cutoff bore is covered by the control spool, fuel can be delivered. But as soon as the cutoff bore is uncovered, fuel will exit from it and won't be delivered to any cylinder. That is because it will be a low pressure zone while the delivery valve needs a high pressure. If we control the position of the control spool to uncover the cutoff bore earlier, this will decrease the amount of fuel that can be delivered, and hence it will decrease the power for smaller loads. 